Thanks for staying with us. This morning we've got a perfect winter starter which would also work for nibbles if you're throwing a bash over the party season. Tommy Butler from Radisson Royal Blue Hotel in Golden Lane is doing the honours today. We're going back to the 70s. We're at Abigail's party here, aren't we? Absolutely. Huh? Yeah, we're going back <laughs> in time for this one. Absolutely. But one of the best sellers in the hotel. It's a great yeah. dish. One of our most popular Christmas starters in the hotel. It? And it's really simple to make. I was say, is it People easy? look at it and, oh, it's very complicated. It's very simple to make. Again, it's something you can make ahead. You can freeze it in advance. You could freeze it as well. So you can make a couple now in November and you could use it then over the next Why is it popular at Christmas, though, when smoked salmon is traditionally a salmon? It's quite a light dish. Yeah, it's quite a light dish. So I just think, think it's, it's a bit Christmassy, a bit refined. You know, people like, yeah. oh, smoked salmon, spend They're going heavy on the money, meat as well, you know, I guess. So, yeah. Yeah, so I'll kick off, right? Very simple. So literally what I have here is just a little bit of smoked salmon here. Lovely. It's very straightforward. I have some fresh herbs here, some chives. I'm just going to pop this in here to the bit of sour cream in here, a little bit of creme fraiche. Okay. I have a little bit of chopped dill as well. Now, well, thank you for the pastries earlier on, most by well. the way. Most welcome. Oh, yeah. Thank they're, you. They're they're getting getting nice steps. Steps. Good. Good. Absolutely. This is a miracle. Thank you, Tommy. Yeah. No, most <laughs> welcome. So I'm going to put a little bit of black pepper in here. I'm not going to put any salt in here because obviously smoked salmon is quite salty as it is. So Very we don't nice. want to over season that at all. Just here, so a little mix. And I presume that. you made that mayonnaise yourself, didn't you, Tommy? Oh, of course. Of so course. it's the sour yeah. cream, it's the creme fraiche. You have uh, your some dill. Some fresh herbs, yeah, and a little bit of lemon juice and a little bit pepper. of zest we made earlier as well, just to give it a bit of uh, freshness. So that's that. Now, for the actual roulade itself, I have two two layers of cling film rolled out here, okay. just flat. Okay, so what I'm going to do now... And you can serve this as a as a, a lunch dish or as a starter starter, lunch or dish, as a main? starter main, absolutely, depends on what you eat. As a canopy as well, it's quite nice <laughs> for yeah, canopies breaking. as well, you know. Um, so again, I'm just going to layer out the smoked salmon just like this. So you want to press it down. Just and like is this, this something you could prepare in advance and then just leave it in absolutely. the fridge? Absolutely, you can make it in the fridge, you could leave it in the fridge or in the freezer can as well. Can you freeze so, it? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> that was my question. So, well, that's, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you can, can you freeze, freeze it as well, <laughs> but can you freeze it? Yeah. And just in case you know, you can freeze it too. Oh, my go-to question. Well. So <laughs> just to clear it up, yeah. you can freeze it. You can freeze it, just to be clear. <laughs> Right. Um, so that's that. So I just put a couple. You don't. You don't want to go too far down the actual um, cling film because again, we want to be able to tie it up in a second. Okay. And from here, I have some crepes or some pancakes that I tend to use as well. Right. So I'm just going to add some of this, just to stick it a bit. Okay. Just okay. a little bit down here, just like this. And don't worry if it gets a bit rough and ready. Rough and ready. We'll, we'll sort it out now in a second. So don't. Okay. It'll all come out fine and washed. Tommy won't just. Absolutely. Yeah. But stuff like this looks so impressive if you Trim are up. interested in making it at home. <clears throat> Down here, just it's a know, great little party dish. People as you appreciate said. the effort you Absolutely. go to. Yeah, them. yeah, and it looks it looks great as well, and it tastes really nice. It's quite refreshing. It's not a heavy starter, you know. I might do this myself. We've eleven coming. The cream eleven for Christmas. Yeah. What time do you want us round? At? <laughs> it's thirteen it's now. Hundred a year. It's thirteen. It's thirteen. It's thirteen. It's thirteen. It's thirteen. <laughs> Right, so we have that done. That's so you've layered fine. it up. Yeah, I've pretty much layered it up now. So what I'm going to do now here is I'm going to roll it. This is the, it's tricky, but it's not tricky at the same time. So from here, right, you just grab your film and you just roll it over, just like that. And you use the actual cling film as your fingers, as such. so you're not, getting a, yeah. you're not getting your fingers very messy. Then you just roll it again in a little bit and you keep so you're that tucking it easy. back yeah, into you do itself. Make it look easy. Simon, will you try there and see if it is actually easy? Yeah, certainly. So Laura. just do the same Thank thing. Because this is where I'd always mess up. Of course, yeah. So you just want to tuck it back in. Yeah. No, I'm watching because I'm interested. So you tuck it in. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then you use the tuck it right back into itself. So what you want, what you're doing is you're you're trying to squeeze out as much air as possible, so you don't okay. have a big piece in the middle with a big hole in it, basically. How are we doing, chef? Yep, getting there now. That's fine. Really? Mm. One more turn. One more turn. You, know, you do have to be careful, don't you? Yeah. Say. Perfect. There you go. That's it. Excellent. Look at that. Now, yeah, this part here now is, for my next trick. This part here now is important. So we've done the semi-important bit now this is where it gets important so we have it oh. here now so we roll so you're it i did the easy bit this is the hard yeah. bit now yeah <laughs> so you just squeeze it back into itself and you roll it so you have a semi cylindrical shape i'll just check this shape. for your chef okay. make oh, sure of course of course yeah. make sure it's okay yeah well and well, then you just roll it right so here we have our rolled salmon so from here just going to squeeze okay just like that. And why right? are you squeezing it? Just to tighten squeeze, everything I'm up? I'm roll out the air. Get as much air like out of it as possible. Hundred percent, yeah. So squeeze it out. Dead easy. Just like that. that Dead easy. Just like that. Did you have a go at that now? And just no. press no. it down like that. Well, you would. Ah, you definitely easy, managed that. Easy. No problem at all. It up, so. yeah. No, you wouldn't. Uh, just roll it like that. And again, you squeeze it up. And then from here, we just roll. How do you get nice all that cling film off? That's cylindrical shape. Make your see now. Yeah, I'll show Make you the magic see. in a second. So we leave that set there for just a second. That's great. Okay. Set. Lovely. So, in the meantime, right, it's I have size of a made a pudding. few bits and pieces. So, yeah. um, I have made a couple of things to go with this. I have made some, because again, we have a lot of salt going on here. We have a lot of, um, you know, it's a strong flavour smoked salmon. So, I've added a bit of sweetness and a bit of nuttiness with some hazelnuts. So, what I've done with these is I've literally a couple of tablespoons of sugar, 
and some water. I popped them into the actual sugar in the water just till it covers the actual, and you pop okay. your hazelnuts in and you cook them nice and slow until okay. the actual sugar in the water evaporates and they become quite caramelized. And then you have this nice, sweet, try one. nutty flavour. Gorgeous. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, these work, it's, like, it's like a praline, basically. But again, um, which is the same thing. Praline They're is gorgeous. basically yeah, mm. sugar and hazelnuts. So that's one mm -hmm. element. Um, again, for the acidic element as well, I have some capers here. Just very simple mm -hmm. capers. And salty. Yeah, capers salty. We'll see why sweet. I haven't put any yeah, salt so in there. We've time got time sweet, we've got salt, we've got lock on <clears> here. <throat> And also now, this is this is what I really like here, is the saffron reduction. So saffron is Very quite an expensive posh. spice. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, price is for it's from the saffron. crocus flower, yeah. So it's about 500 euros an ounce. Oh, uh, not an ounce, sorry, 500 euros a kilo, pardon me, a kilo. 500 so, yeah, so it's from the crocus flower, so it's it's so labour intensive that they actually put <clears> the strands <throat> off each yeah. flower. No it's very intense and uh, it's a beautiful... Um, it's a beautiful spice. So again, the same kind of thing here. I've just made a little syrup with the saffron. I have a little bit of chili in here, some star anise. And again, if you're making these syrups, you can use all these kind of things. You can use thyme, star anise, that bay just leaves, looks so festive and juniper rich. berries. Yeah, yeah, cinnamon. yeah cinnamon. you know. So you've, and you've, you can do anything. Like I mean, once you have that base syrup, again, I've made a beetroot one here as well. You know, a little bit of beetroot. Again, beetroot juice, sugar, a bit beautiful. of orange juice in here, vanilla. All those kind of things that are festive, you can put into. These, really? you know, so they're not going to take really, away from really the flavour well. of the salmon. <laughs> not definitely not, because okay. again, you're adding everything in kind of little little balance, you know. So again, the salmon is quite, you know, no. the salmon is quite a strong flavour, so it'll be able to take. So let's cut this up yeah, and look, see if we this bad on. boy. And again, this works much better if you do make it in advance. Because it'll set in the fridge. Hundred percent. So you just kind of top and tail it. Here, you just take so it ideally, up. you leave that overnight, yeah. Tommy. Is it? You would ideally leave it set for a while because you want the actual flavours oh, to actually so marriage. You know, Very so again, like we've just made it now a second ago, so again, yeah. it won't so be a as looser, yeah. pretty, you know, as it would be. So again, from here, just very gently, you just cut through like this, right? As you can Beautiful. see, then you have a nice kind of mix here in the middle, just like that. And if you were offering this as a starter portion, would you have two or three of these I'm side gonna by side? Play one up now, and I'll show you exactly okay. just what the I rule of three is to be time. a portion. Absolutely odd is numbers. That, okay. Yeah, you go. Well, apparently, odds. the chefs here are three, five, seven, nine. Three, five, it's the kind of numbers you work off, really. You know, yeah. Just looks Apparently better. it works better, better with the eye, doesn't it? Works better than the eye. Yeah, absolutely. Really? Yeah, so science behind that? It must be. I don't oh, there's know. There's probably science in there somewhere, yes, yeah. Would you ever notice that now, yeah. next time you're out for dinner? Well, I'll be counting yeah, now. Having a dish like that, there'll always be an odd number on the plate. For cutlets and other things like that? Yeah. There you go, all the small yeah. things. Yeah. Things you learn things the chef. Oh, it's an education. <laughs> right, so in. I'm going to garnish this plate up a little. So I have a little bit of saffron here, so I'm just going to... Beautiful. Maybe that just on the plate, just to start off. Not too much again, because again, it's a strong flavour. Yeah, lovely. Um, have a little bit of beetroot um, syrup as well here. Bringing all the colours in, I was going to say that, yeah. Put that here. Just, just a little smidgen across gorgeous. the plate. Not too messy. Have a little bit of beetroot puree as well. So I took the beetroot and I boiled them. I kept the juice here and, and I actually took them. the puree here as well. So just add a little bit of texture. Just um, yeah, just for the actual dish the itself. Fan, just to let people at home know that the recipe is on our website, of course, oh, yeah. virginmediatelevision.ie forward slash weekend AM. You can call into Tommy if you like at the Radisson Blue Royal Hotel to try everything for yourself, as we're about to do now. That looks delicious, Tommy. Yeah, and happy days. Very simple, rough and ready. We don't need to be too fancy. Don't need to be no. chefy about this. It's, it's nice, it's that simple. Here, Tom, Absolutely not. I'm just going to put a couple of these hazelnuts down here as well. Just add a bit That's of your That's for Christmas. Huh? Again, for starting, we'll huh? that. Yeah. And last but not least, where would I be without my herbs? Where would yeah, I be you without and your my micro herbs, herbs Tommy? You done. and it your has micro has herbs. I'm sorry. Yeah. Right, well, I'm going to taste this, things. Tommy. That looks smashing. Just like yeah. that. No. Up you next, go. how you and your credit card can negotiate the tricks and traps of Black Friday. See you soon. Right, I'm going. Thanks, in. Tommy. Go you know what? I'm not going to ruin the plan. I'm going to eat this bit here.